everybody. I'm back sooner than I thought I'd be. Um, I had a question from the lovely Pam today um, about shrinking the canvas back. So obviously the video that I've done to show you how to do this was on an unpainted canvas. Um, I found this one um, that I messed up majorly, which was a shame because I actually quite like this, um, a long time ago. So I thought We'll give it a go and see what an actual painted canvas goes like if it's got a dent in the back. Um, I hope the sound quality is okay. I'm actually standing in the bathroom. So um, I don't want to make a hole in it, but as you can see, this this is um, probably been around for maybe a month and a half, so it's well and truly dried. Uh, it's a little bit bigger than my sink, so um, you'll just have to bear with me. I don't want to stick a hole in it, like I say, so I'm going to just, I believe you said, Pam, that, oh, no, I've stuck a hole in it. Never mind. Okay. Well, that's not going to help with that corner. Let's try this one. So, I'm not going to use the scissors. I'm going to use my finger. So, I don't know what your poke is like. I'm just going to use my nail. Um see if I can poke the canvas out enough without going through it like I just did. Let's stretch it enough. I think that's probably, I don't know if you can see that. So it's quite a big lump. Let's have a look and see what happens. So I've got my kettle ready, boiled, ready to go. So we're on this corner, oh, let's show you the painting so you can see, here's the flower, um, just in case you're wondering, that's where I messed it up at the bottom, and I just couldn't bear to get rid of it, but now I've ruined it anyway because I put a hole in it. Um, okay, and so it's on this corner, so I'm going to turn that over, and let's have a look and see how we get on. So remember we said pour and straight off. Now I suppose the question is going to be whether or not it bubbles the paint, ruins the paint, lifts the paint, um, and actually even does the job in the first place. So that is the corner. So far so good. It is warm, obviously, because that's boiling water, but there is no, look at that. Oh my gosh. Now, I think what I'm gonna do is put this straight on the radiator. Oh no, the radiators aren't on, because it's a really sunny day outside. Um, I'll, I'll pop it outside and unless you hear from me otherwise, there you go, can you see that? That's absolutely flat. That's shrunk that right back down. Smooth as. The paint's not wet. It is warm. It's not wet. This is this was already on here. This is dried paint. And just to prove to you, that is the same corner. Ooh, that is the same corner. There's the bit that I messed up. And if you remember, I spun that round there to that corner. And that. As you can see, is where I wet it. Oh, it'll do to the bit that I just stuck a hole in. Let's have a look. Where is that? Here, I think, isn't it? Yeah, there. Right, so that's where I stuck the hole in it. Just there. Can you see that? I'll just tuck that back in. See what happens. Why not? We're here. Ideally, you want to empty that out a bit sooner than that. But I'm reaching on the floor. So, it has. So, that's actually. There is water there. Get that off as soon as possible. We don't want to ruin the paint. In fact, that's so hot. That's drying. Can you see that? That's drying as soon as you smear it. Have a tissue to hand if you've split it and you're trying to save it because of the heat that's drying the paint almost immediately. 
and it has actually shrunk the canvas back down. Obviously there's still a hole there because I stuck the scissors through it, but maybe if you've got the same color paint um, or it's in a place where you can match it as near as damn it, you might actually even be able to use this technique to repair a little hole. There you go. Even I've learned something new with this technique. Love it. Thanks for the question, Pam. That was just brilliant. I'm so pleased I looked at that and I'm really pleased that even popping a small hole in something, you know, it can it can um, make the best of that as well. So there you go, guys. Get the boiling water out. And please be careful. See you soon.